My name is Caroline and welcome to The Harris. Everybody is welcome to watch this film, but it is most especially for Year 5 at Ingle Community Primary and the teaching staff there, Mrs Golding and Mrs Brown. Hello Year 5, thank you so much for joining me today. We are really excited to be working with you on the Ingle Memories Project. So this is the Harris, it is your art gallery, museum and library in the centre of Preston. I really hope in 2021 when things get a bit better that you are able to come down and visit and have a look around with me in person. But today I'm going to take you inside for a look around and tell you a little bit more about the Ingle Memories Project. So I'm here in the Harris's Discover Preston Gallery, which is all about the history of Preston and what makes our city so special. Now in 2019, some Harris staff worked with different branch libraries around Preston. So in Ribbleton, Fullwood, Savick, and I was given the area of Ingle. And the idea was that we'd talk to people and work together to commission artists to make new work about all these different areas of Preston. So I was given out the area of Ingle to work with and I've been working with staff at Ingle Library and Intact and thank you to anyone from Ingle if you're watching today, thanks for your help on the project so far. So the Harris has a huge collection of art and history and ceramics and rare books and things like that but actually we've got relatively few items in our collection that are from or about Ingle. So we asked local people to share their memories about growing up in Ingle with us. And we used these memories and old photographs as the basis of a digital map recording and sharing all of these memories of Ingle. So here is the Ingle Memories digital map. Now everybody can explore this on the Harris website. If you go on our website and search Ingle Memories, it will bring up the digital map. But year five, I've sent the link to Mrs. Golding and Mrs. Brown. So maybe after you've watched this film today, you could have an explore of this digital map and see maybe if the street that you live on in Ingle is featured and if there's memories, any memories associated with it. All you do is click onto one of the blue dots and it will bring up maybe an old photograph of Ingle or a memory that somebody has shared with us. You might be able to find your school or the Dobcroft Nature Reserve. Have a look and see what you can find. To gather these memories, in 2019, the Harris organised some memory sharing events at Ingle Library and intact. We even had a memory walk, walking around different spots in Ingle. People got together and remembered places and stories they could remember from growing up, different people or neighbours that they could remember. Lots of people's memories were about their homes in Ingle. So when we commissioned an artist to create a new artwork, it seemed only right to make an artwork that would live in people's homes. And we decided to make an Ingle Memories tea towel. And here it is. So 250 Ingle Memories tea towels have been printed Everyone who shared their memories with us at all those different memory sharing events and walks will be given a tea towel as a thank you for their contribution to the project. Today, Mrs Goulding and Mrs Brown will give you all an Ingle Memories Art tea towel to take home with you as a gift to you and your family as you are now part of the Ingle Memories project. And any tea towels left over will go on sale at Intact Community Centre with all the profits going to Intact. So we worked with artist Olivia Keith. We commissioned her to create the Ingle Memories artwork. And this is Olivia. And year five, I'll send Mrs Golding and Mrs Brown a link to Olivia's website if you want to have a little look at her as an artist. So Olivia used the Ingle Memories digital map as the basis of the artwork. She went online and she explored all the different memories that people had shared and all the old family photographs. And she started out by creating sketches and she brought her initial sketches along to different memory sharing events that we had and people gave her more information or extra photos she could, so that she could fill out the detail of all the artwork. And the result of those sketches she turned into a lino cut and this is a little section, a sort of test section that Olivia created for doing the Ingle Memories print. And um, I'll see if I can drop an example of this off at your school year five so you can have a look at uh, lino cut. And then she added lots of extra detail to her sketches and used that as the basis of her print. And here she is printing the Ingle Memories artwork at Euclid Print Studio here in Preston. So this is a big framed um, printout of the Ingle Memories tea towel artwork. And you can see lots of local landmarks on here. 
I can see your school, Ingle Community Primary, next door to Intact, and it's surrounded by the Dobcroft Nature Reserve, which is famous for being the home of the great crested newt that you can see here. And you can also see Ingle Dip with the big black pipe, and some of you might have played at the park at Ingle Dip. So this print is due to go on display at both Intact Community Centre and also at Ingle Library as an exhibition that's linked to the Ingle Memories project. It should have gone on display in 2020, but due to COVID, things have been paused for a little while, but we hope that we're gonna get the exhibition on in 2021. And we would like you, Year 5, to be involved in the exhibition too. So one of the interesting things that we discovered when we, were, when we were working on the Ingle Memories project is that one of the distinctive things about Ingle is the quality of the soil in the area. It has very claggy, clayey soil, which means that um, you might, there's quite a lot of marl ponds in Ingle and there was also a brickworks in Ingle as well. And they're there because of the clay-based quality of the soil. So we thought it would be interesting to work with Louise from Make North, that is a pottery studio in Preston, on a clay making project. So we'd make some creative artworks in clay that could be part of the Ingle Memories project. There are some wonderful nature reserves in Ingle, including some that neighbour at your school. So we wondered whether you would like to make some clay birdhouses, some of which will go on display in the Ingle Memories exhibition and other of the birdhouses will be dotted around Ingle and added to the Ingle Memories digital map so that people can go on a little walk around Ingle and find your clay birdhouses. You are going to work with Louise from Make North and she will talk you through all of the stages of how to make a ceramic birdhouse. So I'm going to hand you back to your teachers now and they're going to show you the first of the films that Louise from Make North has, it has prepared that will introduce her studio and what it's like to work with clay and then over the next few weeks you're going to watch a different film made by Louise from Make North talking you through all the different stages of the project in creating a birdhouse from clay. And then Louise is going to arrange to have them fired. She'll bring them back for you to glaze and paint them. And then eventually they'll come back to Ingle. And as I've said, some of them will go on display in our Ingle Memories project. And some of them will be dotted around Ingle for you to explore with your families and have a wander around and find them. But, but thank you very much for being involved in this project. And we can't wait to see what you create.